So one of the things I notice about schools like yours is that while there's no academic structure, like your activities aren't put together for you, but there is ways that, that the community is structured and it, usually around things like making decisions together and resolving conflicts when they come up. So can you explain, because most of the people might not know how those things work, um, how does it work at Riverstone Village to when, when, say, when a conflict happens, what do you do? Um, it depends what kind of level the conflict is, but most mm. of the time it's just an AC, which stands for... Access Committee. Yeah. As, I can't know. Access Committee. <laughs> Access yeah. Committee. And so basically a staff member will give the two, it's usually just two people that are um, fighting or arguing or something, and then we'd have our turn to speak, and then we'd try to work things out as much as possible so that we're both happy and mm. we make sure it doesn't happen again. Try to find a way that we can avoid it in the future. Mm -hmm. And so that's usually how we solve conflicts and stuff. Mm. Right well, you've had a lot of experience with when it's a bit more complicated and you've done quite a lot of solving. Yeah, that was a, a while ago. I don't remember everything, but... Because we don't honestly have a lot of conflicts. Yeah, most right of the time, the conflict is generally more petty things. It's mm. not anything that serious most of the time. But there was one time where there was four, I don't know, but there was like a, a group of people that were having conflict a lot. And uh, we... A lot of it would sometimes escalate to close to violence. Um, mm. it, it would get pretty bad. Uh, but most of the time it was screaming matches and things like that. Um, so what we, had, what we often did was we'd separate them. Um, so we had, um, we had separate places for them. One person would go down there, one person would go up there. And then we'd try talking it out, try seeing what the issue is, why this is going on and how we can solve it, like generally how we would do in a normal access committee. Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, it was a more temporary solution, uh, more like a day-to-day -day solution, not like a, a long period of time because it just kept on like going on between these people. Mm. But after a while, I think one of the people left <laughs> Yeah, and then it kind of the, the conflict between each other started to like dissipate more. Mm -hmm. So there was less. So we didn't have to deal with it as much. But most of the time, we just try sorting it out as soon as possible. We don't leave it for later. We don't leave it for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. If a conflict happens, we go and we try sorting out the conflict as best as possible. Mm -hmm. Because try ignoring it or leaving it, then the tension is going to build up and then it's just going to cause more chaos for not just the people like more in the conflict, but the people around them as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's why we had to sort the conflicts out as, as soon as they appeared, as soon as we saw what was happening. Yeah. So mm -hmm. just briefly, one sort of difference between Riverstone and many other um, similar spaces is we have a much less formal process of conflict resolution. We don't, for example, go through a writing up process. We don't have a set time where these things are going to happen uh, because we mostly try and deal with things sort of on the spot. And, um, you know, at this point, for whatever reason, sorry, at this point, for whatever reason, it's just we don't seem to have a lot of conflicts. I think we mm -hmm. tend to solve them fairly simply as they're coming mm -hmm. up. So, yeah. Yeah. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Berg.